the best rare per and glove knife combos. What's up everyone? Today we're gonna look at some more glove knife combos in CS2, but this time the, so the thumbnail has actually good combos. Either this guy may be able to the cook. Knives. Keep in mind that the patterns shown in the video will be the best possible patterns, but you can Skip, always show me the first. Video. All right, first up we have the Cool Mint Moto wow. Gloves pattern 16 with a Karambit Gamma Doppler wow. Phase 3 pattern ID 666. The Karambit is a max blue side. Cool Mint's on the same. Majority of the blade is covered in this. Very I think this combo color. pops more. And the gloves also feature with spearmints though. Nikita Nikita has this knife together with spearmints, and it looked insane, bro. Because you can still see some green elements. But the white elements, like light blue, like with spamments, it also goes crazy. Sure, a pattern that has a lot of light blue on the right hand. There's tons of cyan bit patterns on the Karampit, so you can definitely change up the pattern. And if you don't like overprints, this is a great alternative for a cyan colored overprints. At number two, we have Superconductor Sports Gloves. Oh, hell no! Nah. The knife is nice. The fact that he highlights it and knows about it. It's a white gem. Urban Mask, a lot of people don't know that on Urban Mask, Scorch Knives, you can get max black and a max white pattern. But the combo, hell no. Stiletto Urban Mask White Gem, which is pattern 402. It's the best pattern on the stiletto where the whole knife is primarily white. But there are other patterns Next. cheaper and look just as good. Moving on to number three, we have a straight banger using Smoke Out Moto Gloves. Now that's a cool combo. This, this, is, this is one of those combos you see it and you're like, what the hell even is it? AKA, it's a what I just said, Scorch Knife 791. Um, I have a classic knife, Max Max Black. Those are sick. I, I realized that those are even a thing super late. I never knew that you could get Max Black Scorched. And then one day, someone popped in the stream and was like, Yo, do you have a, like, have you seen this Max Black? And I was like, What? <clears throat> Super cool, super cool. And a stiletto scorched pattern 791, which is a black gem. This pattern makes the stiletto have a full black combo colors are neutral. Next up, we have oh, one of my driven. personal favorites, which is Pow Moto Gloves. Nice. And a butterfly fade pattern 805, which is often referred to as a mango fade. That's nice. Mango fades are basically the lowest percentage fade pattern. Maybe even nicer than with pattern tiger 805 stripes. being the absolute lowest at 80%, leaving the knife covered in mostly orange with a hint of called. pink towards the top. This matches the POW gloves very well since they are also primarily orange with accents of red. And you can use pretty much any pattern as long as the fade percentage is below 84. These knives also tend to be cheaper than higher fades. So it's probably. a great combo overall. At number 5, we have fade gloves uh, pattern 5. The Hunter, G2 Hunter combo. Dude, I hate, I hate fade. I, okay, I really hate marble fade gloves. But fade gloves look so goofy too. Not as goofy as Marble Fates, but uh, Fate Love. I mean, it's nice how the orange goes into the orange. 579 and a Talon Fade pattern 146, which is above. Moving on to number six, we have Crimson Web Specialist Gloves wow. pattern 3. Four webs, bro. Look at this. One, two, three, four. Man. I love webbed gloves. Like crimson webs, you can get left hand, right hand, center, and emerald webs. Emerald webs go for insane prizes with double centered webs. Like Chinese people, they play tens of thousands for really good patterns. Gloves and knife feature centered webs, so it creates a triple web design when running this combo. Now, the most interesting thing here is that the front web on this classic knife uses the exact same web that's centered on the right hand of the gloves. And I didn't even know you could do this Ooh. until I tried these two patterns together. So it's a great mix overall. That Ooh, I see it. You see, chat? This web right here is the exact same web as this one. There's the little splatter right there. There's the little thingy. There's the little thingy. That's kind of cool that he found that. <clears throat> And that it's both a double web. That's kind of nice. Takes a pretty standard combo. That, that blows makes my mind. Kind of that much more interesting using rare patterns. Coming in at number seven, we have Case Harn gloves pattern seventy one and a Case Harn talon pattern fifty five. And Case Harn gloves, bro. I used to be so mad back when they came out because every Case Harn gloves looked the same. A thousand different patterns. Pattern one, two, three, four, five, six, six, one. They were all the same pattern. Because they had a mistake, they had a bug. With CS2, they fixed it. Now everyone, every pattern has its own like patina as it's supposed to be, and there are blue gems. But this is like the best blue gem possible. So mid. And I know this knife is insanely expensive, but this is a proof of concept idea. With Kaysar and Talons, there are rare patterns back. that have blue gem play sides and a gold gem backside. 
I wondered if that also applied to gloves. And sure enough, pattern 71 has a blue play side cool. and a gold inner palm. So it creates an amazing effect where the play side of the combo will be all blue and inspecting the knife reveals a full gold inside. While it is absurdly expensive, I just wanted to share the potential of pairing similar rare patterns on gloves this guy's and cooking. knives. Number 8, we have Polygon Moto Gloves paired with a Karambit Doppler Phase 4, and the pattern is 848, often referred to as a fake sapphire. This applies to a ton of knives, not just Karambits, yeah. but patterns that have max amounts of blue on them will come out looking like fake sapphires, and some might even argue that they look better. So you could pick up your favorite knife with one of these patterns and combo them with polygons for a solid dark blue match. No, it's okay. You can also make this a budget combo by replacing the Kara for a gut knife, and the gloves are already priced low for how good they look. Everyone talks about crimson kimonos with max red patterns, uh, but there are rare patterns that have max gray, like this pattern. Yeah. Interesting for sure. I like the idea a lot. And he's right, like everyone always talks about max reds, where you have perfect, like full red left hand and right hand, and they cost thousands and tens of thousands. Device was one of the people that actually asked one time, because Device is a lot into skins, asked, yo guys, what is the min red, aka the minimum amount of, uh, amount of red, best pattern possible? And he was trying to look for one before tournament. Mm, I wonder if there's a better knife for that though. Pattern 805. It's paired up with a Battle Scar Damascus Steel M9, and this is perfect if you're looking for a red and gray. Now that's pretty good. That's Usually pretty kimonos good. are paired with red knives like Marble Fades, but since this pattern has so much gray on it, you can easily pair this with any Battle Scar Damascus knife, and it will match very closely. I like to call this the Shogun combo, and it's definitely something that you don't see in Dude, games I like often. this guy. And for our final combo, we have Big Game wow. Sports Gloves Pattern 817 and a Tiger Tooth knife, but I chose Karambit for this example. Big Game Gloves are insanely pattern based. Yeah. and have lots of potential for combo crafting, but I went with a max yellow pattern on both months. hands to Many give it a better color match coming. for the Tiger kind of cool. There are plenty of patterns here that mainly feature orange, so you can pick one and pair it with your favorite Tiger That's tooth really knife. cool. If you do a cheaper knife, this combo can also be considered budget, since this is one of the cheapest sports gloves available in CS2. So, here's everything that I have for you guys today. I took a bit of a break to figure out where I wanted to- Big game gloves, bro. There's one combo still, which is absolutely insane. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, here, bro. Like, what the hell is even going on here? What the hell is even going on, bro? Look at big game gloves. Look at this, bro. Like, a pair of scissors. <laughs> it's so cool how it, like, blends in with the skeleton ring. Um, nah, but this guy is insane, bro. Holy shit. This, this, is the, this is the coolest knife glove combo video I've ever seen. Best glove yes, knife agent good, combos. Still. What's up, everyone? Forest, I've got a banger for you today. Boreal In this forest. video, we will take a look at some of the best glove knife agent combos that you could get in CS2 under $500. All prices were checked through CS Float and prices were adjusted for better floats as well, so you could get a clean pair of gloves within the budget. CS2 to get the best view of the loadouts and with that being said let's get into the video kicking things off at number one we have minimal yeah. wear shadow daggers lore yeah. paired with eclipse moto gloves and we will run michael cyphers as the agent who has gray sleeves Ooh, yeah, i so like how he like look like here the pattern on the law knife and then the pattern like on these eclipse gloves in the inside it's kind of cool bro the sleeves are gray. He that looks matches at the, details, the base color bro. of the moto gloves, and the yellow pattern on the inside is the same color as the shadow daggers. It's a clean two-tone setup that is very lenient on glove wear this as cooking. long as it's field tested. And the cool thing is, the triangular pattern on yeah. the palms is similar to the shape of the knives, Holy. so it's a great match all around. This combo will cost you $300, and it pairs perfectly with a the yellow-themed inventory. At number two, we have a factory new Tiger Tooth stiletto comboed with Overtake ah. Driver Gloves, and the agent for the set is Bloody Loudmouth Daryl, who now costs over $35. Yeah. That made the total price a bit over budget, but the huge benefit here is the great color match between bronze and orange, and the stiletto enjoyers get to use one of the cleanest finishes available with a double zero flow on the knife. Stiletto handles are actually brown, which fits the base color of the gloves okay. and the watch that I we see get you. on the T-sided agent. You get a ton of great things with this set. A good knife, clean finish, I see you. and solid an And the watch color and the jewelry color. I see you, I see you. Animations for a little over $500. At number three, we have one of the sleekest combos on the list using Shadow Dagger's Black Lamb, Black Tie Driver Gloves, That's clean. and Agent K with his white sleeves. I specifically chose the Shadow Daggers here because their inspect lets you see the inner palms of both gloves at once, and Black Ties have some of the cleanest palms out of any gloves. 
I need to emphasize that wear and pattern on the gloves is extremely important here. The gloves you see here are .16 with a pattern that has minimal wear on the fingers and knuckles. If everything is done right, you will get an insanely clean it's setup clean. with the elite black on white color scheme, and your $365 combo will look better than just about everything in this price range. This is one of the best combos I've seen in general, regardless of price. Moving on to number 4, we have a full blue setup wow. using a Huntsman Blue Steel in minimal wear, Field Agent That's Specialist sleeve with a knife color. and Special Agent Ava with her blue sleeves. This setup costs $500 on the dot and has dark blue running from the sleeves to the gloves and knife as well. It's a bit hard to use Field Agent Hell gloves yeah. in a good combo, but honestly they- Look bro, they like this knitting line right here, like the secondary blue color is also like exactly the same kind of. They absolutely that's nice, that's shine nice. here and aren't too picky with the float that you choose on them. It just needs to be field tested. One of the benefits for this combo B, is that the B, Agent Ava B, features blue throughout B, the whole character B, model B, with yellow B, writing on the B, sleeves. So B. the gloves look like they are naturally part of the Agent in third person. All around a dope combo for those that enjoy Huntsman's <laughs> or blue as the primary color. While doing my research for this video, I came across Damascus. I love unhinged gloves. I love unhinged gloves. I love unhinged gloves so much. Steel talon that's, knives, which are wild. criminally Good underrated combo. in my opinion. This set features a Damascus steel Good talon combo. in battle scarred to give it a darker color, broken fang on hinge gloves, which are perfect for budget gray combos. $75 for these gloves, like are you sucking my nut? How? The silent Daryl, who has a silver watch and bracelet. With a total price of $485, I managed to include a high tier knife with a good finish without sacrificing the quality of the overall setup. Wow. This gray and silver combo is cohesive all around in terms of color and gives you access to the Tala knife with its amazing animations. If you prefer a better <laughs> knife in your setup, this is the one I would recommend from the whole list. Purple loadouts tend to be very expensive oh. in CS2, but with- Wow! This one is, I think, my favorite one so far. That is clean as hell. That is clean as hell, bro. It is like it is like when you have like a white T-shirt, uh, black pants, and and white sneakers. You know, it's like the it's like the top, middle, bottom. You know, like look, black, purple, black. The, oh my! Wow! 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 This is nice. This is really really nice. This set you can run this a two-tone really combo nice. of gray and purple. Five hundred. This you will need the Microsoft Agent, Imperial plaid gloves, wow. infield tested, and an Ursus ultraviolet knife. The combo is simple, there's no crazy patterns or designs, just a sleek Insane. match between the grey blade and sleeves, and the gloves match the handle of the Ursus knife as well. To fit the budget, I had to include a field tested knife, so once again, I do recommend a low flow on the knife for there to be minimal scratches on the blade. If you're looking for a budget combo that primarily features a purple wow. color or the Ursus knife, this is definitely the one for you. And here's the cyan combo that most people were waiting for, which will use a Falchion Gamma Doppler yeah. Phase 2. Battle Scarred Overprint Gloves, and the Commander Rixaw Agent. This setup runs a bit over budget, but it's absolutely worth it when it looks this good. I mean, the knife is $400. That's just for... Gamma Doppler Phase 2s in CS2 look genuinely amazing, near identical to Emeralds, and have a blue sheen on them that makes it a great match for the overprint gloves. Speaking of which, you can get these in Battle Scarred because they don't wear traditionally, and only get more gray, so they still look good in high wear. You can't see the agent arms with the falchion knife, so I use Rixaw due to his sleeveless agent model to give it a cleaner look <laughs> overall. This is the sure. most vibrant combo on the list, and if you like Cyan, then you should absolutely consider this combo right After here. W. As an honorable mention, you can also switch the knife for a Huntsman Gamma P2 and the Silent Bloody Daryl Agent, but this goes significantly over budget at 620, which is why I'll mention it briefly. The Huntsman looks great with its huge blade and lets you see the agent arms where Silent Daryl comes into play because the wash on his hand actually has cyan colored accents Whoa. on it. So every part of the Oh my god, he's right though. He is right though. Look at this, bro. Oh my god. Dude, this guy is cooking. This guy is cooking. How do we never look at any of his videos, bro? This guy is cooking to the max. The setup now has this color on it. Overall, it's just an insanely good combo that is well wow. worth the money if you're comfortable with going over the $500 price Dude, point. Dude, I can, I, can, I can never do a knife glove uh, uh, like uh, uh, contest or like, you know, like people are just going to use the stuff from his videos. These are the best of the best.
Zack, all of them are a winner. Final combo of the list. Oh you actually God. get to pick the knife based on your color Max preference. White Urban Mask. Using number K and Smoke Out Moto gloves, you will get a white and black base, which pairs really well with both Urban white Mask and Scorched Stilettos. So if you want the combo to primarily have white, use the Urban oh, Mask finish and vice versa. It's clean. Both actually cost the same in minimal wear condition. Ah, but this one, price wise, I, I don't know if you can get it for the. Like, because the people who own these, like Max White, Max Black, like. They ask for ridiculous price. I tried to buy more than just the classic knife, Scorch, Max Black. I tried to get a stiletto. I tried to get an Ursus. And uh, they ask for, like, a lot of overpay. And like, I do recommend... Like, a lot. I recommend looking for cleaner knife patterns that mainly feature a single color on but them. But a normal Urban Mask will also look pretty good if you try to find one that has a decent amount of white or, like, you know? I know some people like white loadouts, but don't want shadow daggers. So I provided a great alternative that gives you freedom over the base colors of this combo. Total price comes out to $430, regardless of which knife you choose. So here's everything that I have for you guys today. My goal with this video was That's quality it? over quantity, and I spent a ton of time on each set to make sure you get a good variety of yeah, knives, yeah, yeah. colors, and animations to choose from. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want this to see more of this nuts. content, please consider subbing to the channel as it really helps me out a ton. I'm on the wrong I hope account, that y'all have a great rest of your day, and see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Dude, this guy is nuts to look, bro. What's up, everyone? I've got a... Suck here from main channel, bro. Bro, like, what the... F craziest combos on youtube keep it up please holy shit the boys leave him a fucking follow bro now